Time now is 8.22. 11-year-old Harry Whitlam was hit by a tractor on a farm in West Yorkshire two years ago. He died of his injuries. The driver was nearly three times over the drink-drive limit, but he wasn't charged with any offence because the incident happened on private land. Yes, his family have launched a campaign to change the law. His mother, Pamela, and sister, Rachel, are here now, along with Stephen Oldham, who's a solicitor specialising in road traffic offences. Uh, Pamela, Rachel, thank you so much for coming in for Morning. us today. And people will be aware this is not easy for you to talk about for obvious reasons. Um, we will leave aside, because I know it's very difficult for you to talk about the incident itself on the day. But this has thrown up uh, an anomaly in the law about where this happened and what the law can do in that situation. Just explain... Uh, what you understand of the, the problem, the gap that you think exists? Well, there's a loophole somewhere in the law. It says, states that because the accident happened on private land, then drink driving isn't an offence and therefore there can be no prosecution. But um, to me, I think drink driving should be an offence wherever you are. I don't think there should be a difference whether you're on private land or public roads. I think drink driving should just be a fence wherever. And you're campaigning for this at the moment? We're hoping, yes, we're campaigning and we're hoping to get the law changed. And what support have you had for this campaign? Because I think many people would be shocked to hear mm. that just because you're on private land that the drink drive limit doesn't apply. The support we've had from, like, family, friends and people all grouping together is just amazing but we're just wanting as much as as much as we can get really and i wonder uh Stephen, if you could sort of explain the legal situation here because a lot of people as indeed for this family <clears throat> this will be something that's new they no reason to think about it before but the issue of an incident happening on private land as opposed to on on the road for example that's right um in fact most road traffic laws um apply on either roads to which the public have access or other public places. Um, so we, we've never legislated about driving um, in this country on, on private land, although some private land is covered. So, for example, um, a supermarket car park would be a public place because the public have access to that. But once the public, once you're in an area where the public are not supposed to go, so there might be a barrier or a sign or it might obviously be private land, as soon as you're in that situation, then none of the road traffic offences like drink driving, dangerous driving, careless driving, um, and a whole list of other things, uh, none of those apply. And how given what you're saying there, ha has this not been challenged before? You would imagine that it might have similar circumstances might have happened in, in some way? I'm not aware of any, any campaign before. I, I certainly don't know about any campaign. Um, the, the, the appeal courts have looked at this point lots of times, um, and, but all they can do is decide on what the definition of a public place is. Um, and there's been lots of challenges about that. So for one, uh, quite a common example is a pub car park. Um, a pub car park is considered to be a public place while the pub's open, but once the pub's closed and the public no longer have access, it's then a private place. Um, and, and, and so there are all sort of kinds of examples like that. For example, a, a road going through a campsite would, would be considered a road to which the public have access. And so any drink driving offences or anything like that in that location would be, would be captured by the, by the law. And I imagine, Pamela, for you and the family, that the legal technicalities compound your, your grief uh, when all you want is answers, very clear answers. We do need answers, yeah. We, we really want this law to change. Um, at the moment, Harry is being used as an example to get people off drink driving offences. The accident that happened because it was on um, private land, it's being used as an example, you know, as like I say, to get people off the drink driving offence. That's not what I want. That's not what I want from my son's memory. I want him to be remembered for, for something good. We want something to come out of this. Mm. That people will be aware, people will think before they do this, you know, before they go out drink driving. They'll, um, you know, that accidents can happen. They have devastating effects to everybody concerned. And we just need to get this law changed. We really do. Uh, Pamela, Rachel, thank you so much for coming for us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Stephen. Thank, thank you. Thank you as well.